The stream is now live. It is November 13th, 2023, 9.36 a.m. Anyone who is watching this at a later time on a recap video, I appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. And let's get to it. That would have been a nice one to catch. Candle print above. Feels like I'm getting in too late, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it. We are shooting for about 11 points here. Um, I actually want to try to get nine. So I'm gonna move this down to 51, 50. Uh, this is gonna come up two points. I, I didn't get in with the right uh, strategy here. So yeah, I'm trying to milk nine points. I do know that the webcam is uh, not working. I just changed the setting on it and it broke. So I'm gonna fix that after this trade. Uh, so 3175, we'll put this at 3375. Okay, so we're in with the one to one. 32 ticks is our risk. 38 ticks is our reward. Let's see if we can get to it. It looks like it's coming right back down. Did feel like we got in pretty late, but uh, I don't know. We got our confirmation above the line. We tried it. It doesn't look like it's really working out as of right now, but it might. Yeah, to be honest, man, I wish I could trade the, the market open. And I might even mess around with the market open at some point. It's just, it's a little bit too risky. Yeah, that's a stop out, guys. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm going to hop in on this as it breaks up with a ton of strength. Definitely got a print above that key level. Still adjusting my webcam, sorry, it's all uh, misaligned. Man, breakout rejection again. And we're not able to make it. Does look like it's gonna print. Got in with our long on the break. Let's see uh, what comes out of it. Execution couldn't have been better right outside of that key level. I think I may even move this as price comes up, but we'll see. Oh yeah, price coming in with some good strength. 
Gonna move that key level, or sorry, this uh, take profit up. So slightly as price moves. As I come up in the money, I do want to look for an opportunity to move my stop to break even. We are five points in the money. I'm going to go ahead and move my stop about halfway to that break even point. Minimize some of my risk. Moving my take profit up further as some more strength is coming in. Trying to hold above this uh, key level here. Looking for a pop right above 15.557. See if we can get up there. Gonna bring my take profit down a little bit now. Sort of just reset myself. Strength coming in again. Yep, strength's coming in. Moving the take profit back. Money's coming in. Got to break this uh, 15557 level if we want to move anywhere. It's close. 15557, there it is. And it's breaking. We are nine points in the money. Going to move my take profit up a little bit more as some strength starts building into this uptrend. At this point, I am very close to just moving my stop to a break-even point. Cut the stop completely in half, so we are at half risk now. We are very close to at least getting a one-to-one -one here. All right, market's moving up. 10 points in the money. We did just have our one-to-one. -one. I did move my profit a little further, so I did not get that one-to-one -one just yet. Looking for a little bit more movement to the upside. Are we gonna be able to get there? I did say I was only taking one-to-ones today. So technically, I should have been out. I guess uh, I felt the need to move my take profit and get a little bit more out of the trade, even though I didn't know for certain you know, where it was going to go whenever it was moving up. 
think I may just stop it at uh, the top of that candle. Yeah, if we can get back to 10 points, that would that'd be a one to one. I think we'd be okay at that. All right, we got out 10 points. I like it. That was a good trade. Got our scalp, got our uh, take profit. Would have been out a little bit sooner had I just not moved the uh, take profit, but yep, breaking out. 10 seconds to print. If we can hold this, um, I may actually play along here. It does look like we are going to hold, so I'm going to go long. We are long on a break up, trying to get about nine points. Breaking out of high of day, can it move up enough for us? Looking for about 10 points. ticks if I can get a little more out of it I will but for the most part all I'm really trying to do today is get one-to-one -one risk to reward ratios just trying to get a good win win rate going and uh, make it a profitable day off of a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio We're looking for about nine and a half points, actually, to be specific. does look like it's going to stay above the key level at least. This is going to potentially be our third print, which is a sign of strength here. Moving up. Three, two, one. Just barely closing above the key level. We'll see how this plays out. So far, not so good, but it's hovering around there. <clears throat> Take that back. We are actually gaining a little bit of strength as this candle gets very close to a new high of day. I think it did make a new high of day by a single tick. All right, there it goes. Busting out above the top. I'm probably going to want to move my take profit just a little further if we can show some strength. It's uh, hanging in there. Two points in the money. Two points in the money. Three points in the money. Ok, 
Okay. Well, it's kind of doing it did on what it did on our last trade. It's uh, kind of just a little wiki right here before it finally breaks out. I don't know if it's just taking time to finally move. Does it look like it wants to move though? Certainly. Um, yeah, I wanted to note down something here. Breaking new high of day on the NASDAQ 100 futures. Can it move further? Getting up to about four points in the money. Close to five. Should hit five. There's five. Even our last trade would have been pretty solid. Yeah, coming up on what was that? We we bought it 48. Yeah, we would have been up pretty penny right now. Continuing to hold on. Just trying to get one to ones though. If I can squeeze a little more out, then great. Like if this price wants to bump up a little further. And I can move this take profit just slightly above and maybe get a few more points and awesome. But for the most part, I'm content with just taking our one to one if we can get there. Oh, man, price coming way down on us. I never did move my stop. I didn't uh, feel like there was a window to move it. Price is coming down. Maybe it recovers. Not looking good though, down five points. Stop is about eight. Is it going to move back up for us or is this going to be a reverse from the high of day? It could just match that candle there. We've seen that many times. Fall in price followed by just a match in the previous open. look like it wants to kind of come up here it might even just match that candle like we were just mentioning uh, looks like it actually will uh, break back above the key level so we're still in this we're looking okay uh, good thing I didn't move the stop because we uh, we would have taken an L on that trade We'll certainly move it if we come up pretty close.
Yeah, about nine. So nine hundred minus four percent. Yeah, about thirty-six contracts. We could risk two contracts. Um, we could go two contracts here. I can go two contracts. Question is, should I? Yeah, we're gonna put in two contracts and see if we can't get both of these out. As price comes up with some strength, approaches that high of day, looking to get out nine and a half points on both of these contracts. I'm not even really gonna move the uh, take profits. We're gonna see what it does. Yes, it is getting there. Break the high a day. And we should be home free to get both of these contracts under our belt as wins. Very first one is very close. First contract we were in at is close. Price came up, price coming back down again. making it but that was a new high of day this has been kind of a wild trade two points back in the money Two contracts at play. Looking to get out on the first one, very close to the first one. And we're trying, guys. It's uh, bouncing back and forth here. Oh, there we go. Come on. Got some strength coming in. Candle tried to pull down. Does look like it wants to bounce right back up. We were two points in the money. Oh, man, this needs to hold. This needs to break. 15.569. Might be able to get a little bit more out of this if it does pop up pretty good. Building into a little bit of strength right now. Taking absolutely forever for this to play out.
two two points. Coming off of the key level again. Are we going to have enough strength to get out of these contracts? Yes, I think we will. I really think we will. I feel good about this trade. It's been choppy. It's been back and forth, but this thing looks like it wants to break. Three points, four points in the money, and coming up to our take profit on our first contract. It is going to build some strength here. Moving our first Take profit up just a little bit on that first contract as price does come in with a lot more strength. You know what? Are we going to get out at this? Not liking how back and forth this price action has been. Breaking high of day. Uh, price kind of wanting to just sort of come down again. Five seven one. First contract we were in at was fifteen five seven one. Mm. Yeah, it wasn't even quite to our one to one just yet. Wanted to get a couple extra points out of that first contract. So I scooted it up a little bit. I don't know if maybe I conflicted with the execution, but it does look like price is going to actually come back up here. Four points in the money. It has taken forever for this trade to play, man. That makes me nervous. Four points in the money right now. Price is moving up. We are very close to getting... A solid win on both of these contracts. Are we able to get up to it though? All we need is a nice pop right above that 15,570. I'm gonna leave my contracts where they're at. I'm not gonna mess with them. I want these to play. I wanna get a good take profit here. Does look like it's gonna come up breaking High of day as we approach our exit. We are almost there. So close to getting out of these with two wins. Very close. It is just barely under our take profit. Is it going to tap it? We are very close. And it does look like it is going to. Um. I'm not getting into it just yet, but it does look like weakness is going to come in. It is going to print below, so I'm going to hop in at that. Weakness coming in. I got two prints below this key level. Did try to come up, but showing some sort of weakness. Coming in off of the top of that key level. Let's see if this works out. If we break below the next key level, I'll add another contract. But until then, I think I'm going to let this ride with just one contract.
Damn, it is raining outside. Not looking good for this short. Uh, perhaps I should have waited a little bit longer. Uh, price is kind of coming back over that key level, which could spill treble, or it could come back off of it. It's hard to say, but. Uh, looks okay, I guess. It's struggling to get back up. There we go. The market's coming down. A little bit in the money, one point. All right, coming down. Showing some weakness if we can get below this uh, key level, this next key level. That would be ideal. I'll actually add another contract if we can get below there. I may even move my take profit a little bit further down just to capture a little more if this does want to just flush through this next key level. We might get a big candle here. Yeah. Big candle coming in, pushing down below. I'm going to go ahead and add another contract as we do break below that key level. trying. We have a print below the key level. That is good. Going to kind of make both of these profit targets about the same. I did add another one. I think we would have been out on the first contract if I stuck in that. Yeah, 67. We went all the way to 57. We would have been out on a one-to-one -one if I stuck with my uh, take profit. It does look like that second contract we added is going to be stopped out here. At least it looks like it's getting very close. Take profit is pretty much at the next key level further down. Price is still kind of coming down-ish, so that's, uh, that's a good sign. Yeah, price coming down. Okay, yeah, price is coming down to that key level. If it can break through the key level and print, we got about 30 seconds to print. That should be a pretty good win. And two contracts. Yeah, it does look like it's going to fall below it. Certainly have some weakness coming in. Four points in the money on both contracts. That's pretty good. We're up about eight points, ten points now. Uh, can we get a good flush down to that key level? I'm looking to just hop out right there at that take profit area. Weakness needs to come in a little bit. Not much more. We only need about nine more points to get to this next key level. That would be pretty much like a collective trade of 15 or so points on, on that, which would be significant over our one-to-one. -one. Definitely bouncing right back against us, but now coming right back in favor again, so it's it's kind of all over the place right now. It's so close to falling on its ass, it just needs a little bit more 
a little bit more weakness needs to come in. Okay, our chart stopped. Okay, uh, there we go. Price is coming down with, with some pretty good weakness. You know what? I'm taking it there. I'm taking out a collective eight points, uh, which actually resulted in quite a bit. Um, the very first contract that actually translated to, uh, let's see, that would have been 12 points in the money on the first contract and the second contract. Not so much, um, only making four points, but uh, certainly was very good. I mean, that trade was... This is trying to come back up into the range, but seems to keep rejecting. Yeah, I still like this as a short right here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to play a short one contract. And we're going to see if we can get in to a nice easy nine point win. Two rejections off of the key level as it tries to come back up into it. I'm looking for weakness here. I feel like that execution wasn't the best. Could have been a little better. Price is going to come against us and does indeed look like it's going to hit our... I don't know why my charts are lagging like that. I am going to get into this though. We do have a print below. We seem to be gaining some weakness. Losing some strength here. The market seems to want to Go into a downtrend. See if this can continue. Playing out in our favor, we did just get a print to the downside. Um, I'd like to add another contract here on some more weakness. See if we can't get both of these contracts to win for us. Both exits would be around the next key level. Doesn't look good. Looks like we're going to get stopped out of one of two contracts here. And we are very close to getting stopped out of the other one. As we try to go on the short side, that doesn't work out for us. So that takes away all of our profit on the... Getting in long here, guys. We're going to see if we can get a quick win. Looking for nine and a half points. Market seems to want to trend back up into the higher range. See if it's going to make it.
still waiting on this to do something. stopped out market has been trending up trended down for a bit but it's sideways man like I almost feel like we're just bouncing at this point just straight bounce activity that's what I'm gonna play it as ah I didn't execute no oh my god that was terrible I guess I was on the wrong monitor didn't execute well, I should have been in at like 15.50 to be honest. Playing a bounce because price action just looks bouncy, so I'm just playing a bounce within this range, within this range of a 15.545 and pretty much like a 15 point range. I'm just gonna play that. See what happens. points up, four points up. I get stopped out here it's more so because of my execution uh, me getting in so late off of this bounce I mean I had seen the bounce probably around 15 549 we uh, actually almost would have been out on a one one if I executed that correctly uh, we'll see what it does Thank you. 
right here. Yeah, I'm adding another contract. Just bouncing in this range. Trying to win about nine and a half points. Ran on two contracts and a bounce play off the bottom of this range. Bounce plays have been known to be, you know, pretty reliable to some degree if you have the right price action. So right now we are sideways, we are bouncy. Playing a bounce play off the bottom of this range around 15.547. Execution initially was horrible. Um, adding another contract, still not the best execution here on this bounce, but we're going to see what it does for us. I really want to just come up to that key level if we can. Here we go. We're running up. Five points in the money, five points in the money. Might move a uh, profit just up a little bit more if it looks like it's gonna tab out of this key level. Or you know what? Just to be safe here, guys. Uh, I almost took it. Oh, I almost took it. Fuck. <sighs> so much back and forth, man. God, I was almost out at five points. That would have been a solid 10 points because we have two contracts on. So I make five points of two contracts, obviously 10 points. And it would have been a good spot to shoot for. Oh, I was about to take it. We're still in the trade, still in the money, still in the money, it didn't come down. We're still going up like a big old clown. Here we go, let's go. Coming up, coming up. Push the price up, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I might take it here at the top. Top of this key level. Top of this key level, I might just get out. Four points in the money collectively.
I want to stick to my take profit. Uh, let's get up there. Come on. Four points in the money. Five points. Can we pass it? If we can break out of this key level and head towards high it would be amazing. Might even scoot up our uh, take profits just, just like. I'm out. There's too much. There's too much going. I'm going to play it, I guess. Let's try it. Better execution on this one. I got confirmation of a previous candle coming down, wicking down to the area, bouncing up and printing above. This next candle was looking pretty strong, too. So just playing a simple bounce. Simple bounce play within a 15 point range. And um, yeah, let's see if this works out. We're already two points in the money, so it's actually working out okay so far. Three points in the money. All we're trying to get up to is about the top end of that range, which would indicate about nine and a half points.
coming down against us here, guys. It looks like we are probably going to get stopped out. Unless it really has a strong bounce up from this area, which it could. It very well could. This would actually be a really nice bounce play. Better executing area. Way better executing area. If we can get some sort of confirmation. Like if it can print just sticking above. It did hit it. I, I need this candle to print without breaking. Might play a bounce here if this candle can print a bounce. Like if it just shows that it is going to have some sort of probability of winning on a bounce play. We got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 8, 7. It does look like it does want to bounce off from here though. 3, 2, 1. It does look like it wants to. I'm going to add another contract. We're in at two contracts on a bounce play from the bottom here. Pretty much at the same entry on both of these contracts. Three points in the money. How are we going to be able to make it up? Pretty crazy because that first contract was only maybe half a point from getting stopped out. So we stuck in this one somehow and actually looks like it might work out in our favor if it can get back to the top of this range. Execution has been okay. We're in at a decent spot. We're in at a decent spot. Our take profit's about the top of the range. I think that we, we're we okay on this one. We can just drive up a little more. Should be a decent amount of strength that starts popping in. Yep, five points in the money. Moving up with some strength for sure. Actually makes me want to get a little bit more out of this and move our take profits up just slightly. Price does start to move up even higher. If it can get to the top of this range, if anything, if it can break this range, that would be amazing. It would, it would keep moving on some pretty good strength. Um, so we're kind of inching up, inching up more kind of bobbling around. I'm going to take it right there. Took it at uh, eight points collectively. So on two contracts, that actually equates to uh, 16 is enough to, to get us out of our uh, profit capture if we stayed in it. But price has been so bouncy here, dude. I just haven't wanted to stick in. I think we might actually be setting up. Yeah, it does look like we are setting up for a short play. I'm going to hop into a short on the downside top of this range trying to catch some of the downside on this price action if we can move down we did have a confirming candle I did have a confirming candle coming up to that rejecting and printing below after breaking it did look like it was gonna bounce so I don't know I can't really beat myself up here if I do lose because I did have confirmation looked like confirmation to me two candles coming off at the top of that and then coming down so um you know I, I definitely did have that confirmation looks like we may get stopped out though price is close yeah we're we're stopped out so uh We do have a break back down from the top candle. I'm going to play this, man. We're in on a short. Huge weakness coming in in the market. Really big candle to the downside. Like extremely big. Uh, eight seconds to print. Can it print below the key level? 
Looks like it's just going to print right above the key level, which is extremely unfortunate because that could spill trouble as it comes back up into the money and stops us out. That is very on a rejection coming up and then printing there. I'm going to do it, man. I'm going short. Just off at the top of this range. 18 points to print. I feel like we're right about this. I'm going to add two contracts on some weakness to the downside. Moving one of the uh, contracts down. Really, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this range on these two contracts. If I can do that, I would be content. Seven points in the money. Nine, ten. Oh, we almost had it, dude. Ah, oh, we almost had it. The profit target was just a little bit too low. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. We almost had it. Fuck, what is that? That's like a single tick. 45.75? Jesus, dude. That was half a point. Come on, give that to me. Man, we had that. Yeah, this thing better not come back against me. Maybe we're about to catch some weakness on the downside, breaking back below this next key level. That's entirely possible, too. Does look like there's still some weakness. I don't know. I'll, I'll get out if I can get down to that key level, but I might be able to milk a little bit more here. As the price does weaken. Price is seven points in the money and weakening. We are certainly up, I will say, uh, about 10, 11 points. I'm really bummed out that we didn't get out at 10, though, mainly because it was right there at our take profit. But I think it is going to actually play out for us as the price comes down further. On some weakness. Can it move? We had 10 again. I didn't take it. Price definitely coming in with a little bit of weakness at the bottom of this range. I'm getting out. Well, we do have a print to the downside. Uh, confirming a move down. Price is trying to come back up now, though. But I think this is probably still a good short. We're in short here on a break lower from the key level. Trying to get 9.5 points. We are out of the money. Price is coming back up. Oops, sorry. Price is coming back up a little bit. But uh, I don't know. I feel pretty good about this setup we did have a print breaking below that key level and our profit captures about right nine and a half points at the bottom of that key level bottom of this range We did have a print. I did have confirmation. Price kind of bobbled around. Does look like it's kind of going to hover around in our favor, out of our favor, back and forth. May potentially have a pretty big candle here coming either to the upside or downside as the price is kind of getting squeezed in one direction. It's not in our favor though. Not in our favor. Not yet. K9 
candle print just a just I guess above or right at the line of the key level so not really breaking up indicating kind of a standstill here price could come down as it is starting to waver back and forth on that key level still moving out of the money though um, yeah not looking too good for us on this trade looks like we may get stopped out as some strength comes in every time we're up a little bit we give it right back every time we're down a little bit we bring it right back it's been a roller coaster of a day back and forth thirty dollars of commissions right now on the books which pretty much indicates that we have traded uh, quite a bit today we've traded quite a bit of contracts it's a lot of commissions that's yeah that's too much commissions to be honest so you know we need to stop trading as much hoping this works out for us we almost did get stopped out just in the previous candle but didn't quite stop us out as it almost did on the tick we got pretty lucky price is now coming down in favor surprisingly can it hold in favor if price wants to come down to this bottom key level that's about where our profit take is but if it wants to keep just pummeling down I will certainly move this with the price if I can get a little more out of it man come on close guys it was almost there not out of the woods yet does look like it's going to come back against us again I'm not feeling the most confident about this trade to be completely honest Still hanging in there. Not looking good, but damn, it almost got us again, like on the tick. I don't know if this is going to come back down right off of that tick or if it's going to stop us out, but two times now we've almost been so close to getting stopped out. Ah, there it is. Man, that's unfortunate. hopping in while I can still looks like we are going to print above the key level breaking up above this level can it hold Yeah, I'm going to do two contracts. Still looking for the same thing, guys. We're only trying to get nine and a half points. Two contracts in as we do get additional confirmation above this key level. 
Price has been holding really well above it. That's why I'm adding another contract. We just printed above it again. It needs to break this little high that it's at. We need to get above the 15,576 area. If we can, we should be home free. We should be able to get up to our profit level uh, without a doubt. I feel like that should be able to get there. Getting close. Getting very close. And we are breaking it. There we go. Moving up now. I don't want to get greedy and move the take profit. I just want to get out at the level that I said I wanted to get out at, and that's it. Looking for nine and a half points. Two points in the money. Four, five, six. We are moving now. That was a really good candle. Really good breakout. All we're trying to do is get nine and a half. We are very close. Six. Six points in the money. Seven points in the money. Give us two more points and we got it. We are very close on both contracts to getting out with our take profit. Collectively right now, we're up about seven points as we do have two contracts at play. Uh, coming up now, moving further, needs to notch up just slightly to get us out here. Take profit is very close, five points in the money. Six points. Six points again. It is teeter-tottering right there around that high. Is it going to be able to make it? Man, it is right there. Five points in the money. Back down to two points in the money. Price has been moving up pretty good on an uptrend. Breaking out of that level was a decent play. We've gotten up to about seven and a half, close to eight points in the money, but not quite to our take profit yet. Looking for a move further. Price is trying to come down, but also seems to be rejecting at the same time. Some strength coming in on this candle. Four points in the money now. All we got to do is have a nice little pop here, and that should be setting us up good. 15581 is what we need to break through. Looks like we are gaining some strength, and we could break through it right now. Five and a half points in the money. Six. Getting very close, seven points. Dude, it's just barely got to move up, come on. Hit the profit already, god dang it. Ah, what a roller coaster. Today has been a roller coaster. Price is now moving back down partially but definitely kind of consolidating up here at this higher range oh god okay there goes price trying to reject and fall but yeah it's coming off of that top price definitely pulling back
I mean, how close were we? I mean, we're talking 83.50 and we were at 82. We were only, we were only like, uh, yeah, we were like two points off of getting profit on that. Hate to say it, but I don't think we're going to end up winning this. If uh, the price doesn't hold this level, it's going to just reject down and stop us out of both of these contracts, which is disgusting because um, we were up about $32. We didn't quite have our take profit on both of these contracts, but we were up still about uh, 16 points collectively on both contracts, so about eight points per contract. We might still be okay as the price kind of wants to bobble around that key level, but yeah, odds are we get stopped out. And it does look like we are going to get stopped out here on one of the contracts. It's very close. I'd be surprised if we didn't get stopped out. Both contracts are at risk. Yeah, looks like both contracts just got stopped out on a break back down to that key level. That is a bummer. That is 16 points. Oh, we have a breakout. Confirming breakout. Let's see if it can play out for us. Trending to the upside again. We did get confirmation on a breakout from this key level um, a couple times actually. Got a couple key levels, so hoping this does move up in our favor. I'm going to throw in another contract as we're confirming the strength to the upside. Two contracts in the money. Looking for nine and a half points on both of these contracts. Let's see if we can get there. Damn, big rejection coming in after a break. Looks like we are going to get stopped out of one of the two contracts as it approaches near the stop loss. Not quite hitting it. Spoke a little too soon, but it did just hit it. So we are out of the uh first contract or second contract that we added to that uh initial setup looking like the other one's gonna get stopped out too not good man 
We were doing great today. We were up 50, not 25 points. At one point, I think we were up 32 points. Um, towards the end of the day, we are giving it back, though. It's unfortunate. Still hanging on to one of these contracts. We'll see if it plays out. Coming back up, do I want to try another contract? As it does reject the downside and continues to go back on its uptrend. Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna do it. We're going in with two contracts. As we do break out above this key level again with some pretty good strength. But this could consolidate and kind of move against us at the same time. Trying to get nine and a half points on each contract, guys. Moving up in the money. Trying right there at our break even, okay? Looks like it could move here. Trying to get six. First contract. Can't play it too well today. It's been very back and forth, guys. To be honest, I probably just should have stopped the day whenever I was up because I'm I'm having more of a tired day today. out for us can we get back I think I'm gonna move this first uh, take profit to the next take profit area as we do gain a little bit more strength all I'm looking for is about nine and a half points collectively if we can get that that would be ideal as we move in towards high of day Approaching high of day, four points in the money. Trying to get up there. Trying to get up there.
I'm going to go ahead and move this bottom stop up to the next, cutting that stop in about half. Just to reduce some of my risk on the downside if this does come against us. But it is looking okay right now. It does look like we are getting close to our take profit collectively. That would indicate a 9.5 point trade, which would be about, I don't know, 19 points. Let's see if we can get there. Two contracts in the money. If we can get nine and a half on each one of these, that will be a good trade. 750 in the money. So close to getting our take profit hit. Seven points in the money. 725. Dude, come on. 82.50. We're only two, we were 250 away from getting that take profit. And it's going to move right back down. Come on, man, give it to us. Don't do us like that. Oh God, it's coming back down. How many times is this gonna happen today? We're like so close to the take profit, like. Two damn points. Not even. Come on. Price did pull back, but is now bouncing back up with some strength. Four points back in the money. Pulling back on us again. Out of the money. Back in the money. Out of the money. Back in the money. Out of the money. Back in the money. Yeah, dude. Roller coaster day is what this has been. This uh, price action has trended up, trended down, trended sideways, chopped sideways forever. Come on, let's go. Trying to play the break of this key level. Two contracts in the money, shooting for nine and a half points. Taking way too long, it's making me nervous.
All right, finally moving up. <clears throat> Can we get to it this time? Three points in the money. We were just five points in the money. All the way back to break even. Straight rejection again. Makes me want to just sell it. Really does. Makes me want to just sell and not take a loss if this hits our stop. Uh, it's just one of those... That type of price action, man. It's really just rocking around. Sorry about the dog barking. Oh, man. It's this type of price action I can't stand, dude. Yuka, what is going on, my friend? Yuka Morati? Uh, we are trading the M&Q futures. This is the U.S. stock market. NASDAQ 100. Thanks for tuning in, man. How'd you find the uh, stream, Yuka? If you don't mind me asking. I always try to collect any data that I can on anyone new that pops in. Appreciate you tuning in. Trying to get this win, dude, but it is back and forth like crazy. The whole day has been back and forth. Should have just been playing bounces the whole day. Price action's been so choppy. Oh, man. This one's coming against us. Oh, you found it in shorts. That's awesome, man. Good to hear. Yeah, I've been trying to pump out a little bit more shorts. But yeah, this is the uh, U.S. stock market futures market. I'm trading the NASDAQ 100 futures. Trading micro contracts right now. Very small contracts. Uh, less risk. Certainly not doing too hot today, I will say. Definitely had better days, but we are surviving, right? Price is coming back down against us. And that's a stop out. We lost that trade. <clears throat> Getting in here on a break up. See if that doesn't work out for us. Break up off of this key level. We just printed above it. We just immediately had rejection. Hopefully that doesn't last. Ugh. Yeah, it's not playing in our favor either. Today's been rough. Yeah, that's not going to work out either on a breakup. Looks like we're going to get stopped out here in just a moment. Jesus, what a bad day.
traded too much today. $30 in commissions. $35 in commissions. That's a stop out. Yeah. I don't know why we can't add a fucking simulated account. There's a setting that I have to change. Getting in on a play down as we just broke that level, but it looks like that's going to reject on me too. It's so easy to lose. It's so hard to win. Really irritating. So easy to lose, so hard to win today. What are you about to do? Uh, all right, we're out on that. That's max day loss for me, man. I, I got to stop trading. I'm trading terribly.